we are welcome to our first tutorial of combustion remember this is a section that is under material and energy balance now today we'll be focusing on the burning of a fossil fuel or hydrocarbon fuel in the presence of oxygen so let's look at this problem that is placed before us if you gauge closer here you can actually see that The gas containing only CH4 and N2 is banned with A yielding an offset analysis of carbon dioxide 8%, 0.7%, carbon monoxide 1%, oxygen 3.8%, and the balance is, ox is nitrogen with 86.5%. Now, what you require to calculate here is the percentage excess A that is used in the combustion process, and of course, the composition of the fuel mixture that is the CH4 and N2. Now, as you can see, the answers are provided. But what's important is how do you really account for such a question? So we're going to take it step by step and see how we can simplify it and be able to solve it. So now let's gauge closer. If we can look at this problem, the first thing that we have to do is sketch the problem. Before you start solving anything, try and sketch. So this is a combustion problem, so a normal combustion layout would look something like this. You must have your diagram here, okay? But just uh, for so that we have enough space, let's try and make it much more open, okay? Yeah, so we've got to have something like that, much more of a bigger picture so that we're able to see. So now you can go back and sketch your problem. So now as you sketch, you can scale. This is your schematic small process flow diagram for your combustion. Now what you're going to have here, you must have this process flow diagram so that you're able to actually see what's happening. We're also told that there's an offset analysis, so which mean, means we might have a fourth stream that is actually eliminating the water. Now, this is a feed stream coming in. You've got your product stream, you've got your air stream, and then you've got your water vapor stream. Now in here, burning is taking place. There's a lot of burning here. Okay, so it's something that's gonna look like this, more or less. Now here you've got your CH4, and then you also have your nitrogen. And then here you've got your oxygen, got your oxygen, and you also have your nitrogen as well. Oxygen is 21%, nitrogen is 79%. Okay, remember that there are gases in the air, but then what's important is that these other gases are negligible because they are only present in minute quantities in the atmosphere now let's look at this so that we're able to now what we require to, to find here is the fuel composition and of course the percentage excess a now this is our sketch we've actually tried to put all the information there so here you can also have the water the water is somewhere here. Okay, this is 100% water. And then here you're going to have your carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and the other gas is oxygen and nitrogen. So now, if you move down further with the question, you need to select a basis. Now you can see that you, what you are given there is the amount of composition of each and each component so now what you can go and do is to write your basis so your basis is going to be given by 100 moles in the p string okay yeah so now it's going to be given by 100 moles in the p string and the next thing that you need to do is you have to come up with the chemical reactions so the first reaction ch4 
reacts with oxygen, giving you carbon dioxide and water. Now remember that each and every hydrocarbon gives you carbon dioxide and water. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which hydrocarbon is there. It will just give you carbon dioxide and water. Let's create now space here. So you've got CH4 reacting with oxygen, giving CO2 plus H2O. Okay, that's our first reaction. It's the complete reaction since it's got carbon dioxide and uh, emanating from there. But now, if it's if it has carbon if it has carbon monoxide, it simply tells you that it's an incomplete reaction. Okay. So now, as you're gonna see, we need to have the second equation because you can see in the products that are given here. If you go back to the question and look at the products there that are given, you can see that the C C A C O what O, which is carbon monoxide, has got what is one percent. So now you go down to your to your problem again, and let's look at this. Okay, how do we check with this? CH four. So we have CH four plus oxygen, giving you CO plus water vapor. Remember, every hydrocarbon that you burn, or any carbohydrate that is combusted, it actually produces carbon dioxide and water. And if the reaction is complete, it will produce carbon monoxide. So now if you go down and look at the next step here, because you need to come up with the moles. Now you are given what's coming out or what's leaving the combustion chamber. Now we know that through stoichiometric ratios, we can be able to find the moles that are reacting of this particular fuel if we know what is being produced. So if you look closely here, we know or we were told that we've got 8.7 moles of carbon dioxide. So 8.7, can place it there. And then carbon monoxide is 1%. So we just use the molar ratios. Okay, but firstly, remember that your equation must be balanced. So if this equation is not balanced, we have to try and balance it first before we can proceed. Okay, so now we look at our equation. You've got, we can place two here for water, and we can also have two here for oxygen. And then we are set. Okay, but be, 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 so that it doesn't actually um, disturb you. Let's change this color. So let's, let's use the black color. Mm. So we've got two and two. So our equation is balanced. Then we go to the second one. Let's see what we have there as well. We've got two and we have 1.5, which is 3 over 2. Okay, so now you can see these are the equations. So label them. This is your first equation. This is your second equation. Okay. So your first equation, this is your second equation. But now I don't want uh, you can also maybe just remove this so that you do not uh, become confused. So now let's look at the next step. Since we have this, uh, we can use the molar ratios. Now our equation is balanced. So we can go back to the 8.7 times 2. What does it give us? 17.4. Okay, if you've got there, if it gives you 17.4 as well. And then here it's still 8.7 since it's 1 is to 1. And then you go to the second equation 1 is to 1, which this one is 1.0. And then this one is 1.5 moles that are reacting of oxygen. And lastly, you've got 2 moles uh, that are reacting of water. Okay, so this is how it should look like, and then now since you need to find the feed composition, but first you are required to find that percentage excess A. So you need to know the amount of CH4 coming into the system first before you can actually find other other components. So let's go back there and see how we can find the CH4 that's coming into the system. You can see in our equation here, we've got 8.7 and then you've got one more for the complete reaction which produces carbon 
monoxide sorry we just got carbon monoxide it gives us it gives us 8.7 that reacts 8.7 that reacts is CH4 and you also have one mole of CH4 that reacts now which means we can determine what was initially fed into the system by combining the moles in the first reaction which is the principal reaction and also the second reaction which is the incomplete reaction so this one is the first reaction and then this one is the this one is the incomplete reaction so which means our ch4 can be given by you can say the feed stream so ch4 in f ch4 in feed is given by ch4 in the first equation plus ch4 in the second equation so that's how we have to do it so now we go down you can see ch4 in the first equation ch4 in the second equation and then we know ch4 in the first equation it's 8.7 and we've got CH4 in the second equation, that's 1.0. And then we're going to get 9.7 when we add the two together. So this 9.7 moles, okay, 9.7 moles that are coming into the system, they were initially fed, okay. So now we do not know the nitrogen, but at least we do know how much of CH4 came into the system. So now it's going to be easier for us to go and find the percentage excess A. So let's look at the percentage excess A. Now before you can determine the percentage excess A, you need to, to have the oxygen required for complete combustion. Now remember the oxygen required for complete combustion is a theoretical assumption. Is the oxygen that would be required to react with the limiting reactant if the reaction were to go to completion. So now if to go and find the percentage excess A, you must be able to find these different variables. So let's start with the oxygen that required for complete combustion. Oxygen that is required, CC, it's complete combustion. That's what the CC stands for. Okay, so now you're going to is the moles of the limiting reactant multiply by the stoichiometric coefficient of the excess divided by the stoichiometric coefficient of the limiting. So that's how it's done and then what do you get for your oxygen required oxygen required equals to 19.4 that's our oxygen required so now let's go and find since we have the oxygen required what we do not have is the oxygen that is coming into the system how do we find the oxygen that initially came into the system now if we were to scroll down now let's look at that so now our oxygen we can see from both reactions if you if you check your reactions we've got 17.4 oxygen 17.4 oxygen and we also have 1.5 oxygen reacting so 17.4 plus 1.5 oxygen reacting okay that's the oxygen that is reacting but there's also oxygen if you go back to the statement there's oxygen that was produced of which means this 3.8 3.8 oxygen it was actually an unreacted oxygen oxygen unreacted never took part in that reaction so it was it was produced in the product side so we need to so now if you have to get the oxygen that was initially charged into the system it's going to be the oxygen produced plus the oxygen that reacts to get what was initially charged so let's go back now and get the oxygen that was initially charged into the system so oxygen in a stream is given by the oxygen produced okay plus oxygen that reacted okay oxygen that reacted okay so now let's look at that we go down and then we can see here oxygen oxygen that is 
produced equal oxygen produced is 3.8 and oxygen that reacts is going to be 18.9 how do you get that oxygen total oxygen that reacted remember let's say it's going to be 17.4 plus 1.5 giving you 18.9 okay so now you're going to have 18.9 here 3.8 plus 18.9 So the oxygen consumed, oxygen produced, oxygen in PO, the PO, P, uh, the O2 in P, sorry, the O2 in P is the oxygen unreacted, and then 18.9 is the oxygen that is reacted. So now this, if you total it up, it will give you 22.7. 22 okay, yes, this is 22.7. So now we'll just move further down so that we get efficient space. So now how do we find the percentage access? The percentage access will be given by this formula here. Percentage access. Percentage access is oxygen in. Okay. Let me just remove this so that I can have space to work with here okay so now let's have a bigger space here oops it's going down let's have a bigger space so this one here so percentage excess oxygen coming in subtract oxygen required for complete combustion divided by oxygen required for complete combustion multiply by 100 because it's a percentage remember so you have to multiply by 100 not 10 100 let's have another zero there okay yes so now once we have that we can actually proceed and substitute so the oxygen that initially came into the system is 22.7 we've calculated it and then our required oxygen is 19.4 divided by 19.4 19.4 multiply by 100 okay so now you can move further down to find the actual oxygen uh, percentage here. So the answer is going to give us 17. Let's round it off at 17%. Okay, so now you can see that this actually coincides with the answer that is given. Okay, in the initial statement, let's look at the initial statement. The initial statement, what we're given? We're given that it's 17% excess A. Okay, now what is left for you to find is the composition of the initial mixture. So we've got your sketch there because you always refer to your sketch. You can see this is what you refer to, it will help and guide you. Okay, and then your equations as well, also guiding you. Then we've got our percentage excess A, it's in excess by 17%. Okay. So it's an access by 17%. So let's look at the second phase of the question. Now, what we need to find here, we need to go and get our, we need to go and get our composition now. So let's look at that, how we go about doing that. Okay. Yeah. So let's get our composition. Okay, so now composition. Now we're gonna do that now. Now remember that we know that um, oxygen in A is 21% of the A. Okay, so we use we manipulate that statement. So the oxygen in A or A is equals to 
21% of, of the A. So now, 21% of A is equivalent to 22.7 okay, moles. So with, of which means A is given by so A is going to be 108 moles. Okay, by just using this equation, 108.095 moles. So that's how you're going to get your A. But what you want is nitrogen. So now you can use this equation and find your nitrogen. And if this is a 108, so what is the nitrogen? You can see that the A is even more than the oxygen. Oxygen is 22.7 and the A is 108. If your A is smaller than your oxygen, then there's a problem. You need to go back and check where you might have gone wrong. So now let's look at the how do we determine our nitrogen? We know that nitrogen in A is given by what 79% of A. Okay. 79% of A. So the A is 108, of which means 79% times 108. What you get is 85.395 moles. Okay, so all these are moles. Then once you have the moles of nitrogen in A, you can find the moles of nitrogen in F. So how do you go about doing that? Now since you know that F nitrogen in F is given by the nitrogen produced subtract nitrogen in A. So you do a nitrogen balance around the unit. So you can see the stream that is actually coming into the system is F. The stream that is leaving the system it's 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 it's, it's P. And A is also coming into the system, hence it's subtracted from P. So now, 86, we have given in the initial statement, 86.5 moles, subtract 85.395. Okay, so now what do you get? You're going to get 1.107 moles. So now that is the amount of nitrogen that was initially charged into the system. So now what's left for you is just to go and determine the percentage composition and you're done with the question. So but you have the nitrogen that is fed uh, in the that is within the mixture with the CH4. So if you go and look at that now you can see that everything is set. So what do you do? You stream F you can just write the component. So a component is F is H4. I also have N2 and then the total. Okay, so you've got your moles, which is 9.7, uh, 1.107. Then you're going to have 10.8. Eight zero seven. Okay, so now you get your more fraction because that's the part of the composition. So determine this, you will have zero point nine zero rounded off and zero point one zero, giving a total of one. So more fraction. So you've got ninety percent of CH four and ten percent of N two. Okay, within that mixture that is coming into the system. So you've actually solved the question. Okay, so now you can review your answers. Okay, and tabulate it neatly. Okay, and you can also do this in a spreadsheet. So next time, we'll be doing this on a spreadsheet. And then, it's just a matter of the basic understanding. The first thing, understand the objective of the question. What is the objective of the question? The objective of this question here, you, need, you, you had to find the percentage excess A. Now, what you should understand is that in combustion, A is always in excess because it's easily available in the atmosphere. So the limiting reactant is always the fuel. In this case, it's the CH4N2 mixture. Hence, we had to find the percentage excess A 
of this particular this particular process and then for CH4 the composition that's the fuel so we need to know the composition of the fuel in most cases it's very important to know the CH4 is the methane that is burned so that's the fuel that you actually want so you want to know how much of it so if it's 90 percent it tells you that it's actually a good percentage since CH4 is, is the combustible in this particular fuel so if maybe you found that the CH4 is 10 percent it tells you that that fuel is actually not good uh, to facilitate your combustion process since the combustible is in minute quantities okay thank you see you in the next uh, tutorial